Hello EDC people and what's our journey for today? Well, I just wanted to show you a few knives, a couple stilettos, a couple switchblades or automatics or half automatics, I guess. And then I want to talk about this one at the end. Unrelated. So I'll move it for right now. I'll start with the stilettos. This was the first one I got and mind you these aren't expensive this was like maybe a wish purchase um you know so it is what it is i just wanted to have another knife uh it has the safety and then you press the button or you put the safety back off because it was already off and that's it it's a very thin blade it's not sharp on the top does have this kind of compound looking grind at the top but that doesn't really matter the edge is uh, not sharp but it should be uh, meaning it looks like it should be but it, it's definitely not uh, the brand is uh, look KC from Italy kind of sounds like it should be nice and then I tried to figure out, how do I close this? Do I push the button? No. Do I have to turn the safety on and push the button? No. It took me a few minutes to figure out that on this model, you have to you have to take the thing and, and, and push it like this, and it's actually quite painful. And then you can force the knife back into place and put the safety back on. So that is that knife. I have no idea if this is really bone or whatnot. I'm sure it's not. It's probably some kind of acrylic or plastic. Um, I was just trying to see if I could see anything inside, but I don't think I can. Maybe bronze? I, I can't tell. It doesn't really matter. This is more of just a, a show knife. Um, so I got another one because I was a little upset at how low quality that one was. I liked the wood look on this one. Again, I don't know that it's really wood. Uh, it kind of looks like it this time, though. Uh, I can already tell you that by weight, that the quality feels better. Uh, if that means anything to you. You can see the standoffs over here uh, is it skeletonized me no, me no maybe ever 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 so slightly but I don't think so I think those are screw holes actually okay so this one is less automatic as much of, of, of assisted flipper okay so it is a flipper but it's definitely assisted same idea as, as the blade is concerned you know the kind of the compound the top very thin blade um pointy but not sharp <laughs> um it's pretty cool you know size wise you can definitely get a full grip on it uh you can put your thumb up here just fine you can't really fit your finger in there as a choil. That would have been kind of a cool thing. You know, that, that thumb tab, I don't know if you can see this. Let me try to do it over here. Uh, definitely would get in the way of cutting something down straight. But we're kind of familiar with that at this point, And chances are you're not going to do that with a stiletto. Stilettos usually have about two purposes. Uh, it's for the person who's going to the opera and needs to put something in their little suit pocket. Or somebody who's going to do damage like this. <laughs> That's my opinion. Uh, again, I just thought I had to have a couple. They're not expensive ones. I'm not even really interested in expensive ones. Maybe I am. I just haven't ever seen them. But I just had to have a couple. Okay. Moving on. Here's my... Uh, I wish I had a Microtech LUDT knife. I love the LUDT. I think it's so cool. 
I would love to get the Stormtrooper version one day, the one that's white and black. Um, you know, but this is this knife. It's definitely plastic. Um, not much to say. Oh, you can see the china sticking out there as if there was any question. I'm not even sure what size... Uh, is that TE? I can't even tell. I'll have to check. Anyways, here's the uh, action on it. It definitely kicks. Um, not quite like a uh, like an LUDT would kick, but it kicks. Now, it's serrated. I dislike serrated knives. I always like straight edge knives. I don't know what it is. You know, once upon a time I liked serrated because I used to work retail and you can kind of tear into cardboard or, or uh, packing tape. But, uh, you know, nowadays, especially with sharpening, I, I just prefer straight edge. But this is the blade. I'm not quite too sure why they have the, uh, the the nail pull. You push the button and push it back down. Is there any reason why you would... I suppose you could do that to control it instead of, you know, if you're in public, you, you don't want to hear. So I guess you could kind of... Go like that. Um, yeah, but this is my... Let me back the camera up a little bit. I'm noticing how close it is. There, that should be a little better. Okay, so... So yeah, so that's my, uh, my LUDT wannabe. These are really not used... Uh, for anything besides playing and fidgeting with at this point. If I ever got an LEDT, that would change. I have to say, as much as I like micro Microtex out the front and everything, I mean, I like Microtex pretty much everything, especially their Bounty Hunter out the front, but anyways, um, I think the LEDT has to be my favorite of theirs, be it in the Stormtrooper... I'm sorry if this wind is making it hard to hear me. It's been windy every day I try to do a video. Uh, either the Stormtrooper finish or Jeff Jewell had one that was like in a, in a, I think it was burgundy or Merlot or some kind of like deep red. It was awesome in color. That would be my second choice. Uh, go check out his channel if you don't know what I'm talking about or go to Microtech, but that's this knife. And then I do have one out the front um, it has a safety. And it's pretty loud and pretty uh, aggressive sounding. It's got blade play for sure, like a lot of cheap uh, automatic knives do, but um, it's not sharp. It could be, but it's, it's definitely sharp on both sides. So there's four, you know, four bevels, I guess you could say to sharpen so I'm not too interested in trying this quite yet um, to reload it you obviously pull you, know, you push the button and pull this down until it clicks and then you either put the safety back on which it's not working there I have to click it all the way so now the safety's on now the safety's off Ooh, stainless. They're so confident they didn't even give us a type. Anyways, uh, again, not an expensive knife. I think this is some kind of... I mean, maybe it's aluminum? It's hard to say. I, I don't think it's plastic, but I don't feel like it would be aluminum. So, so there you go. That's informative. Okay, so those are the two automatics, those are the two stilettos. Uh, they don't see much daylight, but I wanted to show you guys my journey, as, as I keep saying. So now I want to talk about something just a little different.
I want to talk about the knives that we're going to get on this channel. You know, when I started this channel, we discussed making decisions together and things like that. But at first, I need to get more knives so that I have more content for you guys. And then as I grow, you know, we can do polls and, and, and choose a, a purchase together, things like that. So the first thing is, I, I think that the first purchase I'm going to make for this channel is going to be a traditional style knife. I do love traditional style knives. I just want to know, is that of any interest to everyone who watches this? I don't want to go totally off topic here but i mean i this is again this is the buck everyone has seen before i carry it quite often i always try to carry a regular you know a regular everyday carry knife and a traditional um and, i mean and if you are actually a uh, working you can't go wrong with having multiple blades you know you can use up this blade i just almost cut myself use your main blade after that and, and then you still have your uh you know everyday carry whatever that may be and for certain people who can't decide they're still carrying three isn't that ridiculous So would you guys be interested in a, in a traditional knife as the first purchase made for the channel? It's, mo it's mainly financial reasons, I'm just being honest with you. That way we can get started and as I'm able to get better knives, I'll do that because I did cut myself, look. Um, you know, ultimately, I, I want to be able to look at things like Spydercos and Wii and Riot even and, and make those decisions together. You know, do we want to get the Riot Jack? Do we want to... I'm totally into that, but we got to start somewhere. And for right now, I think we're going to have to start with some traditional knives. Maybe just a couple to get started. And then move into some of the, you know, the, the, the budget... Um, everyday carries, maybe some Gianzo, maybe some whatever. It all depends how fast this channel grows. That's, I should take that off the camera, that's gross. It all depends on how fast the channel grows. I don't want to tell you the knife, the traditional that I'm looking at right now, because I don't want to ruin the surprise. I really do like it. Um, but if, if traditionals are not anyone's, uh, uh, jam here then I, I don't want to waste everyone's time with it so maybe you could just leave a comment traditionals are cool or stick with regular I, I i don't know what something like that that's all i want to know let's see here what else can i talk to you about right now today sorry guys i got a phone call which i'll explain in a second um I've already taken a, taken down my little display table, so I'll just play with a knife in front of you so that you have something to look at. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention as I was talking about needing to have knives to show off is uh, there is another YouTuber, uh, eventually I'll mention who, I just don't want to do that until I know it's okay. Um, another YouTuber who is sending me a package of some knives to to look at, to show off, and, and, and te not necessarily test, but, you know, put in my pocket and re review as a newbie. Uh, and we're talking some good ones. So, you know, not necessarily budget ones, not necessarily high-end ones, but just some different cool stuff to look at. Uh, so don't think that just because I'm talking about the traditionals means that we can't or aren't still going to do other ones. All I'm saying is that eventually I'm going to need to start ordering knives myself again. And I want to do that with you guys. I want to, you know, choose three, four, five knives that I like that's up, that are up my alley 
and post a thing and, and see which one you guys want me to get and see and, and look at. That would be my ultimate goal. Uh, but again, uh, there are knives coming in to look at. Uh, so don't think that it's just going to be that traditional. It's just that I need to know, are you at all interested in seeing other traditionals? Because that would make it easier for me to bring in some new knives in addition to the ones other people are sending. Okay, that's all. You get the point. And I just have to do the third one because why not? What a good knife. They're all good. I, I, that's it. I'm just going to have to carry all three for forever. Sorry about that guys, I got a phone call and I usually don't uh, take them in the middle of a video but it was from Rough Rooster Knife Sharpening himself. So I had to take the call because I was waiting to hear from him on something and I'm going to show you what it is. This video is about to change a little bit. Let me close this without cutting myself this time. I've shown you guys this stone several times now. My coffin stone or whatever, okay? It's very windy, I hope you can hear me. And you can't see this quite as well as you can in person, but this is the stone that I keep talking to him about. I, I've told you before, I believe this is the epoxy or whatever that was supposed to keep it mounted in the box. I can scrape that off, no problem. What I'm looking at here it's the surface of the stone, obviously, the main surface of the stone. I'm trying to get it as close in, uh, uh, what's the word, in high, in resolution or whatever that I can. So we've identified it. I think a lot of you already know, but we've identified it as a Washita stone. That's cool. We've also discovered that it's kind of a oddball shape meaning that it's, it's pretty thick it's pretty wide and it's decently long i guess something to that effect at least that's how i understood what he was saying it's not exactly a normal sized washita okay now i'm trying to show you these little black speckles but they're not going to come up exactly just right Now I'm going to try to show you something, and I have no idea if it's going to come up on camera outside. It's with a flashlight. Let's see here. This is a good spot to try. Can you see? Probably not. Can you see that there's a very small portion of this that's translucent? Maybe an eighth of an inch even? I mean, it's, it's small. It's hard to do this where you can see. Uh, maybe you can kind of see it there. Okay, do you see that it's not it's not translucent fully, but can you see that there is a tiny layer that's translucent? Maybe there's another spot I can do. This is probably not the right flashlight to do this with. Okay, do you see that? Okay. So, in Rough Rooster's professional stone knowledge opinion... This is a hard Washita. It's a hard Washita that's in, considering it's a hard Washita, amazing, amazing shape. Uh, so I'm pretty excited. Uh, I'm about to sit down and play with it for a while and figure out exactly how it works. Uh, I, I, if it's truly a hard Washita, apparently that makes the value of it pretty high. Most of them have broken over the years. Very rarely do you find one in this size and shape, in this quality and condition. Now the box itself is not anything special as far as the condition is concerned. It's old, it's beat up. But it's still here. And it still works. And it's still got the leather strap. I just think it's really cool. Uh, 
and I'm very excited that out of that little font that that um, estate sale you know stone purchase that I made that at least one of them it was a gem and uh, you know I think a couple more are, are decent too I'm not saying that but like the you know my Norton uh, my Made in America Norton uh, Crystal on whatever I know those have decent value and they can work for me and I can use them but to have one that's like rare that's rare and this big and heavy and dense uh, and and desired makes me kind of feel happy <laughs> so I had to show it off to you guys because that's the person I am I wish you could see it just a little better now again you can see the small amount of dishing from when the, the original owner obviously used it and used it eventually I will have to flatten that but I, I don't want to bother doing that right now I don't want to ruin anything on this I don't want to mess it up now rough rooster told me if I look in the very dark spots if I see a tiny bit of translucency that's that's another clue and I can't really show you, it's so hard to do on camera, but it, can you kind of see? I don't know if it's more sunlight than anything, but on the dark spots, <clears throat> you can see some translucency. So, we're pretty confident it's a hard Washita. That's pretty exciting, I think. Okay, guys, I'm going to let you go. I got to go play with this.